Oh, what's going on guys? It's Jack and welcome back to another video. So I was originally going to make a video talking about something else and possibly introduce uh, my new series that I briefly mentioned at the end of my previous video, but we got a couple of bombs dropped on us um, yesterday, late last night it, after, it, during the uh, video game awards and earlier this morning. So within just a matter of hours, we had two main bombs dropped on us and how in the world can you not talk about it? Now, first and foremost, especially for you guys that have been here for a shorter amount of time and for those of you that may have been here longer and don't know, uh, first I wanted to talk about the first bomb that was dropped and that was the Mortal Kombat 11 trailer. Now, for those of you guys that don't know, I am the biggest I am a huge Mortal Kombat fan. As a matter of fact, before there was COD, there was Mortal Kombat for me. There was no, there's no game in terms of my childhood that I have spent more time playing than Mortal Kombat. As a matter of fact, I played so much Mortal Kombat when I was a kid that I knew every single fatality from Mortal Kombat 1 all the way through Mortal Kombat Trilogy by hard in my head, memorized. And that was through, like, age 12. And that does include babalities, friendships, and animalities. Uh, brutalities, I, for me, even back then, they were a little too hard for me to execute. So, um, <laughs> for Mortal Kombat Trilogy on PlayStation, there was a, deb a debug code that you could put in, and you could just do any finisher, any finisher including brutalities, with just one button. Um, but uh, even before I ended up getting that, I still knew all the moves by heart. I had the uh, I had every single magazine of like the uh, the strategy guide or whatnot. It was uh, it was insane. So, and I've been playing Mortal Kombat ever since, but just not nearly as much. Like I didn't beyond the story mode, I didn't play MKX all that much. Uh, but I still enjoy it. I just don't play it as much anymore because I just don't play fighting games in general anymore that much. But when it comes to Mortal Kombat, whenever a new one does come out. I do get it, and I do play an X amount of time with it. And with this one specifically, this not just appeals because it's a new one, and then we finally got it, and it's coming out really soon, and there's going to be a reveal event in January. But there's also a fact that they are playing... They're basically giving us what we want in terms of what may happen in the game. Everybody, for instance, for a while now has been talking about a remastered versions of Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3. And in this game in terms of what this trailer teases at the very end especially and also the fact that we get to see two scorpions we get to see the current scorpion and we get to see the scorpion of mk2 or mk3 uh, no it's mk2 actually if you look at it um in terms of the mask and uh the uniform as well more more the mask because the uniforms from mk2 and 3 are very similar but for the most part it's like a mix of mk2 and 3 in terms of the uniform but uh we get to see a the retro scorpion and the current scorpion so that makes you think it's like and at the very end they they also tease um an hourglass there's an hourglass and i guess i don't know who the female character is standing next to the hourglass i personally think it's uh an elder god or or a new character that we've never seen before and or both and uh they're right next to an hourglass i didn't know what it was at first and then i kept on looking at it. i'm like oh that's an hourglass you know, with the sand going down and everything, so they could be messing around with time travel and all the previous stuff. So that is great. I love it. They've they kind of done it before in MK9, I think, if I'm not mistaken, but or Mortal Kombat 2011, as as it's once said. But um, but it, they didn't mess with it or anything like that. Uh, at least I don't think they did. At least not as much, if I remembered. But um, I per as I fail on that one right there, that guy just took me out. Uh. I am very excited about that because in a sense it's almost like we're getting a current Mortal Kombat and the remasters that we kind of been wanting as fans at the same time. And also if there's anything else, fans have been talking about a Mortal, uh, a Mortal Kombat Shell and Monks 2 and or a, a Sub-Zero Scorpion version of Mortal Kombat Shell and Monks. Kind of like Mortal Kombat Fire and Ice as the fans have been calling it. Mortal Kombat Fire and Ice and uh, Scorpion and Sub-Zero are pretty much like pals now almost. Well, not completely because of the past of what happened, but they uh, they don't try to kill each other anymore because obviously Quan Chi was the one that basically set up the whole thing. And But anyway, um, <laughs> we may very well be getting it because there's been a tease or a leak or something like that. We're not entirely sure if it's legit or not, obviously, but that there's going to be an adventure mode of it. So if we're getting the fighting game and the adventure game all at once, oh man, that's a ton of content. Netherrealm really has not disappointed. I mean, they really haven't. From Mortal Kombat 9, and Mortal Kombat X was terrific, 
and with Injustice 1 and 2, I mean, these guys just keep getting better and better. Their games just keep on having more and more content and replay value, and at the same time, they keep on giving us what they want, which is something that um, Call of Duty thinks they got right, but no, they don't. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I am very excited about it. I mean, it was the, the trailer was absolutely brutal. People will say that the music might have been off, or I guess it just depends on your uh, on your taste of music. And but uh, regardless of which, the game the the trailer was absolutely beautiful, and it was brutal as hell. And uh, we can definitely expect to see all sorts of crazy shit when that game comes out. And uh, it's coming out very very soon in like what five months or whatnot. And there's gonna be a reveal event in January, which is fucking badass. So I, as a Mortal Kombat fan. I'm looking forward to it, and hopefully, um, and hopefully we also get a movie sometime here soon. And uh, Ed Boon, actually, the first tweet I ever sent out to Ed Boon when I got on Twitter, um, it was it was in a, a different Twitter account though. It wasn't the one I have now. Uh, I tweeted at Ed Boon, and believe it or not, he actually responded to me. He, uh, I asked him, uh, "Can we get an, an MK versus KI, uh, also known as obviously known as Killer Instinct, uh, in the very near future?" And he said, "We don't own the rights to Killer Instinct, so." But uh, anyway, that's it in terms of Mortal Kombat, and now I want to talk about Ave Avengers Endgame. Now, first of all, in terms of the title, I am very happy that it's not called Avengers Annihilation, uh, simply because of the fact that every single time I think of the word Annihilation or see that word Annihilation, it just reminds me of the Mortal Kombat sequel movie that just wasn't up to par, to put it nicely. Mortal Kombat Annihilation is just, no, it just it wasn't up to par. The only thing that Mortal Kombat Annihilation had that was good in some ways I guess was the fact that there were a lot of characters from the video games that were in it but some of them barely had any time movie time at all so um but there was a lot of a lot wrong with Mortal Kombat Annihilation but thank goodness it's called Avengers Endgame and Doctor Strange said it himself in Infinity Ward to Tony we're in the Endgame now and basically at this point every everybody's is pretty much dealing with exactly what happened after the snap 50% of the population is is gone including Shuri, which is an absolute heartbreaker because if you guys were to ask me whether I'd had, I, if I had to choose who I think would be better to protect us from threats, whether it's Tony or Shuri, I would say even though I love Tony to death and even though it would be a really hard call, I would pick Shuri simply because the fact is that she is indeed the smartest, the smartest um, person in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And uh, also, you can't forget about the fact that Wakanda has technology up the ass. So um, those two things put together, I mean, you just can't go wrong with that. And she, in a brief scene with, uh, with Bruce Banner, she, uh, who's also very smart as well, she basically said, hey, why didn't you guys do this? <laughs> and uh, it was, it, it's amazing. But, but the thing is, I mean, obviously, I'd rather have both. I don't want to see Tony die. I don't want to see Cap die. I don't want anything like that to happen. But... Honestly, though, with Avengers 4, there will be somebody or more than one person that is going to be a major character that will die permanently. And I don't know who it is. I have a feeling that's either going to be Cap or Tony. I'm not sure. Um, but with that being said, uh, this trailer definitely hit. It, it's it, it definitely gets you in the feels as well in terms of Tony. He's all by himself drifting in space. And he's basically making a, a recording, a digital, a digital VR recording or what, whatever it is, um, to Pepper, which again gets you in the feels. And, and this guy doesn't have much time left before he starves to death or before he dies of dehydration. I mean, it's it's crazy, but we we know that he's probably gonna survive. <laughs> and um, but the thing is that a lot of people are saying, some people are saying that Thanos might not even be in the movie because of the fact that he already did what he wanted to do. But uh, you just really never know. I mean, there's so much that we don't know. It's still a big-ass question mark in this, at this point of what's going to happen, who's going to be in it, who who's coming back, who's not, and all that kind of stuff. Some of, the, some of the answers we already have, but we don't have everything. And uh, uh, there's just so much to be excited for. And at the same time, they gave us the perfect trailer or the perfect teaser trailer because, quite frankly... It gave us what we wanted without revealing anything, and I don't think they should reveal anything at all before the movie even comes out. Just give us one more full-on trailer, a few TV spots here and there, as Jeremy Johns himself said, and uh, we're good to go. Because, quite frankly, this is one of those movies to where everybody already knows about it, everybody's already waiting for it, and it's uh, it's in a really unique position to, to uh, wow, break all sorts of records. Um, I personally think it's going to be in the $2, $2 billion club in terms of the amount of money that the movie's going to make box office wise 
But at the same time, I also think that there's a potential for it to possibly beat Avatar, which is number one, I believe. And uh, Titanic's up there, too. There's four movies. There's um, Infinity War. There's Avatar. There's um, Titanic. And then there's, 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 there's one more. Oh, The Force Awakens, I believe. Those are the guys that have made the $2 billion club, if I'm not mistaken. So I think... Um, that end game is going to be a part of that and it might even be number one it might it might surpass avatar so anyway guys i just wanted to briefly touch up on those two things how can you not talk about it let me know down in the comment section what you guys think are you guys mortal kombat fans are you excited for avengers because i sure as hell am tell me what you guys think tell me who you think is going to survive who you think is coming back i mean obviously we do know a few of those answers obviously because of movies that are going to come come down the road that have already been announced but even with that being said um just give me everything and anything and that's all I got for this one, guys. Uh, let me know down in the comment section what you think. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, let me know. And if you didn't, let me know what I can do to make my videos better. I'll catch you guys on the next one.